This video will provide a brief introduction to MathCAD. Um, so it, we're in the MathCAD environment here, and this uh, <clears throat> this toolbar right here is called the Math Toolbar, and it allows you to turn on various things. Like if you're working with um, matrices, then you can turn that one on, um, or calculus that one. I usually generally want to keep the calculator and the Greek toolbars on, have access to these types of symbols. And these can be also be turned on and off individually through this uh, toolbar, set the settings over here. So first thing in, uh, to understand in MathCAD is that there are three types of equal signs. Uh, one equal, equal sign is used to assign, assign either values or other uh, variables to a particular variable or to a function um, and then the regular equal sign well, that that one I just mentioned is uh, you put in by actually putting in a full colon and uh, the regular equal sign actually just then calculates if you have something on the left and you put at an equal sign it will calculate whatever is on the left and then we have um, another equal sign which you put in by doing a control equals that gives you a bold equal sign. That's used when you're using like an equation sol solver. So um, just as an example, uh, <clears throat> so if, if I type X and then full colon, so it gives that kind of symbol. So maybe I'll just put in a couple of values here. And we'll make that X plus Y. Okay. And so if we wanted to calculate z now, we could just put type in z and then the regular equal equals number, uh, equal sign. Now if we want to create a function, maybe we might create a function f of t. Again, you just use the full colon. Colon, that might be 1 plus t plus t, we use the up arrow to put in an exponent, and then to get out of the exponent, just hit spacebar, because otherwise, next thing, I t if I type another plus sign, it's going to do t to the 2 plus something, so I hit spacebar once, that brings that back down, and so on, so I'll do up arrow 3, okay, so now if I, if I want to evaluate that, say, f of 1, and then the regular equal sign that evaluates, right? Or f of 2 okay um, if we want to put in a graph um, so I could put in let's let's suppose I want to graph x squared And I'll just go shift at, and uh, we'll put that in. And of course, it's you can see the scale down the bottom. We had set x equal to five, so this is just actually just plotting that one value. So I'm going to uh, if I take if I delete that, then it will put in some range of values. We can we can change the range. Um, and notice now that uh, this value of x is not defined, so that's why it's red. And therefore, of course, if we try to calculate z, uh, it's not going to give us anything. It's it's red because there's no value in there for x. So in terms of the graph, if I went in doubt, double click, and you get all this these different types of options here. So if we want cross graph instead, I can click on that. Um, and <clears throat> we can put in labels uh, and change the the weight if we want to make that a heavier weight, right, and so on. So you have a lot of control over what uh, how the graph looks. And if we want to change the range here, so maybe we just want this to go from, oops, from minus 5. Try that again. To five 